a girl, the girl in couple boots stick a starts her boot. She's moving round right inside me, wanna tell you, yeah, girl, I keep your gold boots. Yeah, you're looking so fine, hey, girl, I keep your gold boots moving, yeah. Don't ever let the music catch you. came in here for something besides the show. As a matter of fact, I can... As I was saying, I came in here for a piece of apple pie and a cup of coffee. Pardon? Straight down this here road, Pete. Fur, Pete. 
Just beyond Arizona. I have five mighty hungry companions with me on this trip. Appetites you can't imagine. Well, I'll sell you anything in the place, mister. I'll settle for 10 Hershey bars, please. That'll be one dollar. Can you catch a hundred? I've never even seen one. Lucky me. Here's a single. Goodbye, Fergan O'Bear. I must hasten on to the land of milk and honey. Hey, that's clear. He here for you, friend? That's Jimmy. He's always hiding out there to watch for speeders. being a professional? I guess I'd give about anything in the world to be one. I can help you. You can help me? Sure. Look, my sister's the number one attraction in Los Angeles, in a groovy Hollywood nightclub. Let me show you. There she is. My sister, Joan Nichols. This is your sister? Yep. Go on. You're a bigger nut than he was. Oh, no, I'm not. Same girl. Listen, I'm on my way to Hollywood right now. now. Why don't you come with me and I'll bet you my sister can make you into a star. Just like that. And I'll do all that for you in exchange for a little companionship. You know what I mean, like being my relief driver. I want to drive straight through. Oh, boy. Have you got a line a mile long? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm sure you are. Look, I may have stars in my eyes. I don't believe everything I hear. No! Come in here! Excuse me. Girl, I told you an hour ago to get them pots and pans washed. Daddy, I've got a customer out front. Mm. You do them dirty dishes now. Take care of the front. No, please. What did you say? Mr. Johnson hired me to take care of the front, and you to take care of the kitchen. You want to get us fired again? Don't you get smart with me! I'm not getting smart. It's just that you've been drinking. And you're going out there and making a fool of yourself anyway. That's what bothered me. I've been drinking. I slapped up a few stinking beers, so I ain't good enough to be a father no more, huh? Daddy, please. What do you mean, Daddy, please? You afraid I'm gonna breathe in some of your lousy studs out there, is that it? That's enough! Man, no good tramp, you're just like your mother. You're right. I am like her, and I'm glad. At least she had enough guts to get away from you. What's wrong? Huh? You still want someone to go to Hollywood with me? Bet I do. Help yourself to another cup of coffee while I get some things. you want to be treated. Fair enough? You were serious, weren't you? Sure, sure, I was serious, but 
Well, there is one minor complication. I ain't got enough bread for gas all the way into L.A. Will you be able to help in that department, too? Maybe I think you're going to be good for me. The old luck is changing already. Oh, 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 wheels, oh, wheels. The wheels of love are turning. Rolling with my baby across the California line. Oh, wheels, oh, wheels. Wheels of love are turning This time there's no detour sign I know more bumpy roads of love This trip is really great The wheels of love are turning To that golden state Snack time. Anything special you want? Yeah, a place to comb my hair. I'll see what they have. Come on, move it. Hey, man, you ready for move it? <laughs> Would you like to take his brains out and play with them now? There were none of those shenanigans in here. You come in for what you wanted and leave. There's no problem, ma'am. No problem. You're out of your mind. Don't you know they'll kill you for that? Don't you worry your pretty head about it. Let's get out of here quick. I'm a snobby man? You better believe it.
motor running. to save us from my drinking. Move on. Come on. I'm sorry. Well, I said I was sorry. Take away the breath well, say something. I guess I was just tired. Come here. Recognize him? Of course I do. He's the guy with all the words. You mean he's the guy with all the bread? Come on, let's go pick him up. The Good Samaritans, I presume. Need help? Yeah, I guess you could say so. A traveler here on my bike seems to have thrown a rod. Well, now, it seems to me you've got an awful lot of trouble with that wreck. Yesterday, you had it on a truck bed. Oh, yeah. We've met before, haven't we? Why, you, my fair lady, you're Guinevere. Out, huh? You want to ride? My other name is Michelle. He's Buzz. Michelle and Buzz. Mine's Critter. Critter? Yeah, you know, like a cowboy's horse or a wayward cab without a home. Look, come on, you want to ride? Yes, we do. What do you mean, we? Well, Traveler and I. Oh, and a look-wise guy ain't carrying no beat-up old motorcycle in the back of my car. Oh, you won't have to. I got a tow bar. Oh, you got to have a bumper hitch for one of them to work. Ah, it just so happens I have one of those, too.
You know, I can't get over your name. It's a funny name, Critter. Some fellas gave me that name when I was in the Peace Corps. Yeah, you know, it's between India and Tibet. I helped the uh, natives here Jackson. Him, you? Yeah, you're kidding. Critter, I'll bet you've got a college education. Mm, well, yes and no. I didn't get a degree, but I tried my hand at Columbia and Berkeley. I wish I could have gone to one of them. I'm not the scholarly type. Look, I hate to butt in on this real brilliant conversation, but we got to bang it out of here. Waitress, check, please. Now, how about it, Critter, old pal? It seems to me this place ought to have changed for a 50. Maybe even a 100, huh? Ever since I got back, I've been carrying my bill full full of net, please. You'll be cast if you like. Huh. Okay, baby, shall I do Ten bucks, that's all you've got? I had to buy gas last night. But you went back to the cash register. And took what was coming to me. It amounted to $14. Well, that's just great. With this tab coming to $4.50, that'll leave us a lousy $5.50 to get to L.A. Look, I didn't take any more from the cash register than $14. That was mine. Okay, Yak Boy, can you take care of your own share? Yeah. I can come up with my own share. And $15 more to boot. Why, we ought to be able to reach Los Angeles with 20 bucks. Come on. I guess I'll pass for now. Thanks a lot. Two days. Hey, don't pay attention to me. What you do is your own business, and it's really no concern of mine. That's right, it is no concern of yours. I'm going to become a dancer critter and a good one. You said yourself I'm pretty. I'm good at dancing, too. You're even prettier when you're wet and angry, honey child. Understand? 
to Los Angeles? About 20 miles. Thanks. Stay in the car. Get behind the wheel. Where's the attendant? Sound asleep. Okay, roll this baby out of here. Buzz, what have you done? Have you gone crazy? Move it! Okay, Yak Boy, you can get out of here if you want to. You're not afraid I might turn you in? Why should I be? You're an accomplice. My friend, you might have seriously hurt that man back there. I might have, but I didn't. Don't worry. He's up on his feet by now, fighting on the door. Well, are you getting out or not? I gave you $15 for a ride to Los Angeles. Okay. But get that bike off of the back. Too conspicuous. Look. Be in L.A. in 20 minutes. You'll be rid of me and the bike.
Casey, Britta Jones. Glad to meet you, Miss Nichols. Hello, Michelle. Oh, it's pretty. Hello, Critter. Hi, Miss Nichols. Come in, come in. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, you met Leo, I guess. Well, no, not officially. Oh, well, I want you all to meet my one and only, Leo McCabe. He owns the place. Well, now that we got the greetings settled, brother, tell me, what are you doing out here on the coast? Did you uh, finally get in some serious trouble? Hey, you kidding? None of those good citizens are hip enough to catch me. The fuzz may be numb where you come from, friend. But they're pretty well with it on the Hollywood scene. You give me. I'll give you what? You lay that gun on me, sweetheart. Buzz, my gun, are you kidding? Kill it! I'm not going to come, Sonny. No. Where do I get her back? We don't. 
There are only a few people in this town who pack these things. And most of them are cops. If you need some bread, I can help you. But I don't like bad-mannered kids with guns. Dig. You, uh, come to my office and we'll talk, okay? Ciao. Don't let him bug you, Buzz. No, I'm not bugged. I, I just forgot I was at someone else's ballpark for a moment. What about you, Michelle? You gonna be moving on with Critter? No, she is with me. Uh, oh, Joni, I want to be a dancer. Says you ought to see her dance. She is just great. I ain't told her you're gonna help her get started. Thanks. Just try me. I'll work. Really, I will. Well, um, uh, we'll take a look at you tomorrow. Just an audition, that's all I ask. Oh, oh okay, we'll uh, audition you tomorrow. Looks as though you folks pretty well have your future set. I feel like the Lone Ranger, riding off looking after folks that are gonna live happily ever after. Well, so long. Thanks for the buggy ride. Any time, yak boy. You sure she's with you? So, all alone. How Do you feel that you really have to go? Yes, I do, Michelle. Will I ever see you again? Honestly, Donna? That's a fool. Could it? Earlier this afternoon, when you and Buzz made me choose between you. I'm learning the blues. It isn't that I don't like you. I do. It's just that I have to. I know. You have to dance. I almost did you, Michelle. I wish there was something that I cared that much about. If you had any sense, you'd just keep walking with me right down this hall. Are you asking me to go away with you? I don't think either one of us is ready for that. All I'm trying to do is help you see. This is no place for you. I guess I'm going to have to decide that myself. Well, I never was much for helping people. Peace Corps proved that. So, I guess I'll just go back to minding my own business. going to a hoedown. Uh, you want Leo to hire you as a dancer or a dishwasher? <laughs> You're about the same size I am. Let's get you in the beat. This is what you need to show off what you got, baby. <laughs> not seriously hurt. Front page. How do you like it? 
प्योर है वन मोर टाइम थैंक यू too hard to make a good bucket of such. Really? Don't you remember what I offered you? Anytime you say, I can do much better for you. Much? Well, a smart fellow like you should waste his time up in floors. up like that. Pay attention. Fix that engine. Nah, it's only a salesman. Here comes Joey now walking towards us. Just hang on. Hey, a little case of hard trouble, Marty? Yeah. Wow, oh, it's a bad scene, man. Wow. Tell me. These carburetors. You know, I used to have a short just like this one. Bad carburetors, man. You know, if you get a grain of sand in there... Psst. However, it might not be that. You know, you might be out of gas. You played straight, Joey. We can't stall around here all day, huh? Hey, come on, relax. Live a little. Live a little, man. What's the use in passing all this bread around if you can't have a little fun? Hey, who's this cat? He's a new friend of yours. His name's Buzz. Crazy. Crazy. Like all careers, my career depends on good connections. Where's the stuff? In the usual spot, right in front of you. Right by the battery. My pockets hate you. You and your battery acid. 
put the bread down by the air cleaner and get out of here, will you, before we pick up heat? Hey, man, I've been going around the block for 20 minutes. 20 minutes around the schoolyard? The way you look, they'll be busting you for a deviate any second. Come on, get out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a special order for tomorrow morning. I thought we were only supposed to hit this spot once a week. And that's all we're going to hit. Somebody better be here tomorrow, or else you ain't going to be making any more deliveries in this neighborhood, baby. I mean, that's what these Cretans pay for. You got the movement. Let's hear it with music. office in a minute. been promoted from yak boy to mock boy, huh? How's your new job? You had a chance to murder anybody yet? You stay away from the shop. Now look, you're not fooling anyone. You still got your eye on her. I admit, I like Michelle a lot. Buzz, do you honestly think she'll ever be your girl? Well, I'm warning you. Because I want to leave nothing but the pieces. Buzz. You know, you're like a blind rattlesnake. You hear a noise and you strike. You should try staying calm. Then you could think and observe. If you did that, you'd know I'm no threat to your love life. You're about as gutless as this bike of yours.
isn't your spot. I just put you there in case they noticed you made a goof or something. But that spot belongs to one of the other girls. Well, you just leave it there. Okay? Thank you. You don't think it'll make anyone mad, do you? <laughs> so, let them find another joint. in Johnny's place. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, she needs a day off. Besides, she's tired. Oh, I'm almost out of pills if I'm going to have a holiday. It would really be nicer, honey bean. I don't know. Oh, um... By the way, I'm having a little party later. I'd uh, like you there. Okay? Sure. Great. special delivery. Oh, yeah. Well, I want you to make that delivery by yourself. Sure. And by the way, Marty tells me your car is hot. Is that right? <laughs> it's hot. Get rid of it. 
Get rid of it. Dump it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Somebody made it. You know, I hate doing business with uh, leery people like Marty, you know what I mean? That's how people get popped. <laughs> Where's the junk? Relax. Live a little bit. I mean, what's the use passing all this bread if we can't have fun, right, baby? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a new cat, you sure learn it fast. <laughs> The money first, huh? What's the matter? Don't you trust me, Buzzy? I wouldn't trust you with a care package. <laughs> hey, Joey. Why don't you look at the tire, huh? See you next Friday, Buzzy. Second in Maine, huh? Don't forget, 2 p.m. 
Okay, see, baby. See you later, Buzzy. See you. Hey man, hold it. Who's that? I don't know, but I like it. Hi. Hello. I was just listening in. What's the name of that tune? It doesn't really have a name yet. I've been thinking about calling it, Do You Want to Laugh or Cry? Oh, it's one of yours? I like it. It has a good sound. Oh, I'm Chris Howard. Critter Jones. You have the same written down? Just the words. I never dreamed anyone else would want to play it. Well, why don't you come out front? Let's give it to the guys. Uh, I'd like to see what they could do with it, okay? Sure. Do you have any more of those? Yeah, I've got a bunch lying around. Sounds of former meetings Make lies of what is said now Changing things wonder why the same words don't fit now. Do you want to laugh or cry? If you gentlemen will excuse me. Oh, you don't have to go yet, baby. Yes, I have to get changed for my next show. Don't be too long. No, I won't. Uh, promise you'll be right back? Oh, yes. Yeah. Don't fit May I come in? Sure. Now I won't have to say goodbye to you in a note. Are you really leaving this time, Critter? Yes. If you take a good look around you, you would too. Close the door. Now sit down. Leo deals in narcotics. LSD, and you name it. And Buzz is up to hearing it with him. So? I sold a couple of songs today for a hundred bucks. You can have half. Fifty dollars? It's more than anyone else has offered me. He don't even want me. Hey, I'm not trying to be funny. I was afraid you weren't. Look, Michelle, you can't afford to get mixed up with this bunch. Who says I have to get mixed up with anyone? 
Listen to me, Monsieur. The pigs of this world won't let you sit on the fence above the mud and watch the action for very long. You either run when they spot you, or they'll pull you down. And then you have no choice. Now, I say they have us spotted. And it's time we find a new fence to straddle for a while. Just ask me to go away with you, and I will. Well, what in the devil do you think I've been doing? I mean, ask me because you want me. Because you need me. It doesn't matter what I want or need. Critter, please tell me that you love me. Then I'll go away with you. We can get out of here together. Tell you a thing like that? And then have you hate my guts when you find out about me? Uh-uh. Not on your life, baby. Find out about what? All right. You ask for it. You think I'm just a college dropout in the Peace Corps. <laughs> well, I'm much bigger than that. Next week, I'll be on the wanted list of the FBI. Finley Jones, alias Critter Jones. Wanted for refusal to serve his country in time of a national emergency. Are you supposed to be in the Army? Next week, I'm supposed to be, only I won't. A draft dodger. You? I don't know. All I know is that I've got to find a hole to crawl into so they can't find me. That's the kind of man I am, one that's got to find a hole to crawl into. All right, you find your hole. Me, I'm staying here. Why should I leave? Leo says I'm really going places. Just because he deals in dope, that doesn't tarnish me. Oh, that's what you think, baby. Tarnish isn't a strong enough word for what he'll do to you. Try corrode for size. Why don't you take a good look at Joni? She's been places with Leo, and there's a trashy book written in every line on her face. Aren't you the great one? Solving other people's problems.
Well, mister, if you're a cop, I want you to know I'm not responsible for this punk in any way or manner. It just so happens he's the brother of one of my dancers. He blew in last night from back east. A cop? Heaven forbid. No, I, I'm no cop. However, I am associated with the police, uh, rather closely associated. He is kind of nutty, Leo, but he's got one beautiful scam now. You better listen to what he has to say, huh? Since when did you start telling me what I should hear? What do you want? Uh, well, you see, one of my best friends is a hophead. You have my sympathy. Oh, there's no need for concern. He's well fed by a sort of a foster mother named Joey. Never heard of him. It's just as well, I'm sure, that you prefer a higher degree of intelligence in your employees. And Joey isn't very bright. He proved that by not listening to my story. Well, he sounds pretty smart to me. Poor Joey is also not very careful. When he refused to listen, it became necessary for me to follow him and speak to his connection. A young man with far more on the ball. You might find it expedient to promote him. Really? Of course, this is no surprise to me. The connection should always be smarter than the pusher. If he weren't, then he would be the pusher, the pusher would be he. Leo, 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 look. He told me he's a trustee at the Eastwood County Jail, about, you know, 40 miles from here. And I've been a guest there on other occasions. Yeah, yeah. Now, he says the narcotics squad out there made a big hit last weekend. Leo picked up over $100,000 worth of stuff. They keep it in an empty cell at the jail. Uh, locked, of course. Now, that's where I enter the picture once more. I suppose you got the keys. Fella, I, I'd never steal anything as worthless as a key. Your desk locked? Yeah. Why? Excuse me. What are you doing? Sir, I'm going to give you a $100,000 demonstration in 10 seconds. Now, that cell door is much easier. That's all that stands between you and $65,000. And you only want a third. Well, I, I've been thinking of retiring, and my wants are quite simple, really. Tonight, I shall get good and drunk. Break a show window if necessary. Tomorrow, I'll be at Eastwood County Jail as their number one trustee. I need only one brave man. I think I know you. What's your name? Uh, the boy will do. Even if he does think I'm nutty. What's your name? Blatz. Harry Blatz. Excuse me, Mr. Blatz, while I have a talk with this bright young man. You stupid punk, I'll have a kid your face in. Do you know who Harry Blatz is? Well, he said he's not a cop. Well, he might as well be. He spends half his time in jail, he's a drunk. And he's got a big mouth. And he hasn't seen more than a thousand bucks in one spot in his life. And you bring him in here like a long lost brother. And he thinks you're smart. Well, well that I... alone proves how smart he is. Leo, how was I supposed to know that? Listen, besides, I think he's got a good plan. Yeah. That's true. The cops didn't make that raid. Can we get it? I don't know. I still ought to smash your face in. I don't know. You tell me. Can you get it? You mean I can go with Harry? If you can get back here with the stuff without the cops, yeah. But if you bungle it, remember, I don't know you. Now, where's my money? Uh. Yeah, the boys tried to take him home, but he grabbed one of their flashlights and threw it through a plate glass window. Well, if he wants to live off the county, he can go to the welfare department. The judge will probably give him 10 days this time. I'm going to work his tail off all the time. 
Okay. Bye. All right, Harry, let's get some work done. It's open, Johnson. Let's go to work. This will give you something to do with those busy hands. Okay, what do we do now? Just follow me and act as if you lived here. chit-chat, boys. We'd best get on with our duties. I don't want to be responsible for you going on bread and water on your very first day. What are you trying to do? Merely establish a witness in case I should ever find need of one. Well, I don't like it. Now, there's nothing to be concerned about. He has no way to finger you without my help. You see, I I've been planning my retirement for some time. Let's go. have now been taken. From here on, it's as easy as falling off the proverbial log. We simply take the satchels, put them into the wastebasket, you carry them to your car and drive away. And I won't mind seeing you go, because I know that there is now only one way you can keep from paying me my share.
may think the success with Leo and all the kooks in this joint mean you got the world by the tail. But that ain't the case, baby. It's got you by the tail. You wouldn't believe it, but I came to this town four years ago. And I was just as young and as fresh as you are right now. And see this hand? It was steady as a rock. And I had a pretty mind. Uh, <laughs> I had a pretty mind. Oh, oh, God, I wish I had that pretty mind back. Jump! Michelle, get that junk off the couch. What happened? I don't know. She just fainted. I'm sure you know what's wrong there, Leo. Well, knowing Johnny, I can imagine, Critter. She's probably on a bad trip in those pills she takes. She did take one not long before she fainted. One? It's not the first time this has happened. It's become a habit with her. Somebody better call a doctor. Nobody's calling a doctor. She'll survive the way she always does. You know, maybe it's too bad she will survive. She used to be a good dancer. She still is, but she's losing her spark. Besides, she's old hat with the customers. Michelle, you may be the luckiest girl in Hollywood. You got what it takes to really blow their minds. <laughs> and a little more to boot. So, starting tonight, uh, you'll replace Joni permanently. And you'll be the number one attraction here. I couldn't do that to Joan. <laughs> I bet you can. And if it'll ease your conscience, then let me tell you, she wouldn't bat a knife stomping on you. And if you don't take her place, somebody else will. All this means an apartment like Joan's. A car. A wardrobe. A name up in lights. Believe me, baby, there ain't nothing like the sound of people clapping for you night after night. Yeah. yeah. Look, what it, look what it's done for me. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here! Get out! Get Who do you think I'm talking to? I'm it's talking you to you! Out of here. You're getting out of here! I've already left you! You shut up! You shut up, you trashy bitch! Ah! Get out of here! You pig! You! the stuff right here. Everything went off great, just great. And old Harry Blass retired earlier than he planned to. Shut up! Old Harry. Just who is this Harry Blatt? How do you know the name Harry Blatt's critter? Look, what you guys do is no business of mine. You're playing a game I don't know, and one I don't want to know. So if you don't mind, I'll just take my leave. Come on, Michelle, you're going with me. It's a little late for that decision, friend. You are involved. They're not going anyplace. Get in here. Just like I said, Michelle, the pigs have finally pulled us down. 
Sit down. You made your point. Now take your girl and get out of here. Uh-uh. The muck's too deep in here. Operator, give me the police department. There's a girl 